Hi, my name is Dr. Carl Wierks. I'm a partner at West Michigan Orthopedics, and I'm here today to talk about hip arthritis. So inflammatory arthritis is less common than the osteoarthritis. Um, the most common cause of the inflammatory arthritis is rheumatoid arthritis, but you can also get an inflammatory arthritis in the setting of inflammatory bowel disease, uh, psoriasis, or ankylosing spondylitis. And the mechanism of the inflammatory arthritis is really just that. It's an inflammation um, really of the joint lining, um, which is a very sensitive tissue. So it, this can be quite painful. So if you are having hip pain and noticing things like uh, limited range of motion, um, particularly if you're having trouble putting on socks and shoes, going up and down stairs, I recommend having your hip evaluated by an orthopedic specialist um, that really uh, focuses on hip replacement. And initial treatments of that really are geared towards decreasing the inflam inflammation aspect of things. So NSAIDs, um, as well as these um, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic medications such as like methotrexate um, or even injections. And those are really uh, typically managed by a rheumatologist, sometimes a primary care doctor. Another treatment that can be tried in that setting is cortisone injection, which can provide temporary relief of the hip pain. But if all of those things fail and that, that joint uh, uh, damage progresses far enough, then a total hip replacement can provide excellent pain relief. 